Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who was wisdom, who was the Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray that the Most High blesses this lesson this evening. Gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past in order to understand the events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. Brethren, we're going to be getting into some more confirmation from these new books that the Most High has uh, unleashed on the nation, and now he's bringing this information to the world. We're going to talk about how it was talked about how um, after the flood, I made a video a long time ago about how the three sons of Noah were all given their lots of land and how the nations have seen it fit to try to give us the scraps and keep all the precious lands to themselves. It's been all about hiding who we are and where our birthright is and how they just um, have given themselves liberty to take our lands and make it seem as if it's always been them. Now, we're coming on some pretty serious times. This is the time of Esau's trouble. Jacob has gone through their trouble, and they love to constantly act as if Esau, I mean, Jacob is going to be constantly going through trouble. He's been going through trouble for thousands of years, and he's going to go through trouble once again while all of these Gentiles run away. But as we get closer to this election, the Most High is just exposing these people. He's showing you their spirits. And it doesn't really matter at all who wins tomorrow. Because the plague is out of control. And, you know, they're trying to act as if one of these men is going to get a, get a handle on it and restore life back to normal. See, you, as you can see, doesn't matter who wins. One group is going to be losing their minds starting tomorrow. It doesn't matter if Biden wins, then Trump supporters are going to be crazy. Okay? If Trump wins, then Biden supporters will be crazy. Because neither of them can bring life back to normal. And see, that's what the mass majority of this uh, world right here, vast majority of these Americans, are hoping that one of them can bring back life as they saw as normal. The time of us being under your guys' thumb is over. So it doesn't matter who wins tomorrow. Now you're seeing all these uh, reports of all these businesses boarding themselves up in anticipation of what is to come tomorrow. See, they've been going through the whole thing with the election that they've pretty much ignored the fact that I think that it was almost over 100,000 cases or right under there a couple of days ago. Things that they said would happen months from now are happening in days. The Most High is bringing that judgment you look at these commercials and about you know the families coming together and have, you know going and playing sports and going to games and all that stuff is done those days those happy days will not be coming back for you and I'm as I walk around and look at people and you know, like, like all of us, I'm sure, if we were wearing like some Hebrew attire, you catch people taking a glimpse. You catch people taking a look at what your shirt says about being Hebrews and not needing their approval for anything. 
about us being the chosen seed. You start to see, I'm seeing it, a lot more people taking a second look, taking another glance at these shirts or things that you wear, things that you say, because see, they know, they've been knowing the truth. But now they know that it's, uh-oh, now they know. And if they know, then they're not praying to our Jesus anymore. They're not praying to our Allah anymore. They're pray- they've now turned their face to their power which is curtains for the rest of us. So long as we, that's why they never cared which religion we were in. As long as we weren't praying to our power, they could care less which religion we were in. But now they know that we've turned our backs on their religions. And now we're looking for what is ours. We're now looking for what the Most High has given to us. And we're not looking, we're not listening to their opinions as far as what's ours and what's theirs. Because we know they're always going to take what's ours. And claim it is theirs. First thing we're going to look at right now is the Nag Hammadi scriptures. See, all these books and all this information is all connected. We, uh, let's see here. I made a video and I'll put it in the description box a couple of days ago about, um, what is it? Genesis 315. Okay. And, um, we understand that the Most High had made covenants. And in that, in that book, it talks about how you can tell who the tares are because they're always following the Most High's chosen people. The Most High gave us everything first. So that he unleashed the chairs and he told us why he would do that. So they would always want to be around us. The chairs would always want to follow us. Well, you're going to find out that that's actually was written about here in the Nag Hammadi in hidden scriptures. Now you'll see more so why they hide so many scriptures. The Nag Hammadi, page 494, right here. Okay. And I want to say this might be, I don't have my notes on me. Okay. So well, some church leaders lack knowledge and lead people astray. Take a look down here. For every authority, principality, and power of the ages wants to be with the immortal souls in the created world. So see, they always want to be with us here in this created world. Hence why they always follow us everywhere. Hence why they always try to steal our history and steal who we are. They give us, you know, their history and they take on ours. They take on our status, our status and give us theirs. So why is this? In order uh, that these powers who do not come from what exists and have forgotten who they are may be glorified by the immortal souls that do exist. That's why they switch everything so that we can do what for them so that they may be glorified by the immortal souls that do exist. We are those immortal souls. We are the ones that they want worship from. That's why they've set up all these churches. That's why they've taken all of our history so that we will look up to them and that we will worship them. Okay? So again, uh, who do not come from what exists. So we have different spirits, okay? The powers, actually, hold on, this, and have forgotten who they are. See, they've forgotten that they, you know, are not us. All the way to this day, they still think that they're the most highest chosen people. They think that our spirits, or their spirits are better than ours. That's why they've forgotten who they are. That's why when we tell them the truth, They don't believe it. They ignore it. They can't accept it. Okay? So, again, they have forgotten who they are. He said, they may be glorified by the uh, immortal souls that do exist. That's why they followed us to Ireland. That's why they fired us, uh, followed us to England, to Europe. That's why they followed us to the Americas. Because they are the tares. See, that's why you get more in, uh, knowledge and understanding 
when you get into these other books. Okay? But the wheat and the tares. Right there. Okay? It says, the powers have not been saved or shown the way by them, though they always have wished to become imperishable. For if an immortal, okay, soul is empowered by a spirit of thought, at once it is joined by one of those who were led astray. This is why we can accept what's coming. We can see what is coming. If you have two people in a room and one can see and one is blind, if the light is turned on in that room, only the one that actually has the capacity to see will be able to see the light, will be able to enjoy the light, will be able to find, uh, follow that light source. The one that has been born blind, even when the light comes, cannot see the light. So now this is a spiritual aspect of what we saw in Genesis 3.15 about the terrors following us everywhere and wanting to emulate us. Now we're going to get into this right here. I told you guys I was still going to be sharing information here on this channel as well as over on Patreon as well, okay? So it's not like it's one or the other. This is going to be some heavy confirmation right now. And this is what happens when we work together as a nation. They have worked so hard to keep this information from the masses. This set of books, um, after we actually got our hands on it, the price jumped to almost $7,000 for these three books. We didn't pay that much, but nowhere near that much. But the point was, this is why it was so important for us to come together in order for us to be able to get this information. And I'm still ordering um, many books, as many as I can, as many as you guys help me to be able to get. I'm still ordering the books and bringing it in, bringing more information. I'm going to be sharing stuff here as well as on Patreon. But you're going to see some huge information right now. And this is all because we've worked together to get this information. Check this out. Look at the top right here. But not to suffer any strangers to settle in Ireland so long as it remained obedient to the sovereign. What does that sound like to you guys? So I'm going to get a little bit more information in a minute. No one was allowed to come and settle these lands over here, those lands over there, Ireland, England, any of those lands, okay? So long as it remained obedient to the sovereign, so long as the people that were already there were obedient to the sovereign. If we were obedient to the sovereign, we would be blessed in these lands. And that's huge, because we know if you go to Deuteronomy 28, let's go there real quick. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Most High thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee, and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the power of Lord thy power. Okay? So we already know that if we follow the Most High, he was going to bless us. He was going to you know, make our lands for you. Go through all the blessings. And you see how it's all connected to the land. How important the land is and the blessings. Okay? And we know that they talk about this here in Deuteronomy 28. Talked about in the Book of Mormon. And now you're going to see how it's talked about here in the, uh, or here in the, four, in the uh, annals of the kingdom of Ireland by the four masters. These confirmations are all over the place. It's all over the world. Because we have been all over the world. We were all over the world. So therefore, 
these covenants, you know, were in place all over the, all over the world. And when you go back to that video about the wheat and the tares, it totally tells you about these certain groups of people calling themselves the English, you know, the Danes, all these different names going all over the world and taking our lands away because worldwide we messed up. We didn't just mess up in that little itty bitty little land in the so-called Middle East. We didn't just mess up in the Americas. We messed up worldwide. So now check this part out. So you got this right here and then you kind of go to the, the little bottom part right there that gives you more information, start getting the precepts. You start getting more notes and understanding of what they're referring to. It's right here, G. Actually, no, E right there on top. I.E. Ireland. That is not to allow any strangers. Who are these strangers? Scottish or English to be like our people. Okay. To come to colonize Ireland. So long as the native Irish remained obedient to the sovereign. Here we go. That's huge. Now we have to go. Who are the native Irish? Now. They would love for us to believe as these white people that call themselves Irish today. But then when you go back to our book of the Black Celts, you know that it was so-called black people, so-called, you know, melanated people that were there for tens of thousands of years before the Indo-Europeans showed up. So now, which kind of people live there? Well, look at the kind of land. Because... The Shemites, I'm not saying, you know, that's a thing. The Shemites got the best lands. They got the lands that were neither hot nor cold. Well, if you start looking at these islands up here of England and Ireland, Scotland, these are not lands that are, you know, deserty hot. And they're also not frozen lands. So therefore, they would be our Shemitic lands as well. So the Most High made a covenant, okay? And he gave Shem those lands. So now when you see things like this right here, i.e. Ireland, that is not to allow any strangers. That means that goes all the way back to now Noah and his covenant with his sons. No strangers. You're not allowed to come in and take the Most High's lands. Scottish or English. Those are the people that are calling themselves that today. Okay? To come to colonize Ireland. You're not, you were not allowed to come and colonize Ireland, as we call it now, as you guys call it now. So long as the native Irish remained obedient to the sovereign. Well, we know that if we were obedient, you were not going to be allowed. The Most High was going to keep you away. So we know that we messed up. So then when we messed up, you guys were then allowed to come and take over the land. But when we messed up, there was also rules and regulations on how you guys were supposed to act. And you have not followed those guidelines. So therefore, everything is now about to flip. America is not yours. Now, you guys can't go and just return back to Ireland and England and all these lands in, uh, in, the so -called, in Europe, what you guys call it. Because those lands aren't yours either. Spain. There was actually um, huge rocks there that were actually had writing in them. That was before you guys as well. I think it actually also was uh, some kind of Hebrew. I said, so there were even people there in Spain before you guys. So now you guys don't get to just go back to lands that you stole from us over there as well. So there's more going on that meets the eye. Now it kind of makes sense with the wheat and the tares and the angels being unleashed and gathering up the tares and burning them. See, the, the, everything that we've been taught, like I said, is, is not they've given us their rendition of events. They've given us their breakdown of how um, prophecy was going to actually, you know, be executed. But now we're seeing that that's not the case. 
with this information that the Most High is now giving back to us, we see that our lands are going to be restored worldwide, not just the Americas, not just the so-called Middle East. As they've been, they've been trying to control the narrative for everything. So this is much bigger than what the most than what we have been led to believe. But this is absolutely huge information right there. I think you guys definitely should thank the Most High that he had us work together. And I want to thank everyone that's been working together and uh, supporting myself and the channel. Okay, because this these are the kinds of things right here that are absolutely mind blowing. These are the things right here that show how far we fell and how grand our rising is about to be. Now we see why the other nations are losing their minds. That's why we're seeing these people right here talking about America and it's how it's their land and you know it's God's country and they think that they are part of this land. But as you can see, the Most High is uh, definitely cutting that umbilical cord with them thinking that they're going to be here and that, this, that these are their, are their lands. Now we even caught you with lying about England and Ireland and Europe. Now we realize that you guys have gone all over the world, still in our lands. Anywhere your people went, you were still in our lands. Like I said, this is a huge find right here. Because now it's saying like we, we got it from you know, the Bible and the so-called Middle East and making a cover because that's what they made us believe. We got it from the Book of Mormon that the Americas was also a land that the other nations were kept away from. Now come to find out that, you know, Ireland and England and all these, all these other lands over there were ours as well. And it was I had kept them away until we messed up. So yeah, I know we had pictures but now we got, these are translations from our own writings. That's where these are coming from. These are just, all, they're doing, all they did was get our books, and remember, and they anglicized them and threw their names in there. Now we know that we were the ones the Most High made these covenants with. So when it's talking right here, it's talking about our people. It's talking about fathering, uh, following our sovereign, following our power. You did that, you would keep your lands. Let's read it one more time. I.e. Ireland. That is not to allow any strangers, Scottish or English, to come to colonize Ireland so long as the native Irish remained obedient to the sovereign. And that's huge. And we know that we fell off. And that's why we got Deuteronomy 28. And let's start with 15. Which is, this is what happened to us worldwide. But it shall come to pass. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Most High, thy power, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And that's when all the curses, as soon as we messed up, all the curses. So the, in the Bible, a lot, of, a lot of the information in the Bible is all about us losing our identity. It's about the other nations stealing our identity and about us getting our identity back at the end. And do you not see the re you know that we're in revelation right now, the revealing, the restoration. And that's what we are all working together as a people to do. We are a like I said a blessed people and we are much deeper than just 80 or 66 books. I saw this this morning, megalithic tunnel in Europe. See, these are the things they've been hiding because when we were with our power, these were the things we were able to do. These were the things that we were able to do. And people are always like, well, how did they do that? How did they, how are they able to do that? You know, how are they able to do that? Did you guys not know that Solomon, was given a ring. And with this ring, he was able to control the demons and they were a, and they were used to build the temple. 
that were used, I'm sure, to build structures that today we marvel at. And that's just one book that talks about that. I'm sure there's many other books and a lot of more information on us having these kinds of uh, controls over spirits in order to be able to have them do things for us. And that's in the Testament of Solomon. If you haven't read it, that's a book you guys want to get on. It's in your Old Testament um, pseudepigrapha books. You know, I said, so we start looking at all these things and, you, and we were thinking of it from our eyes right now, from our low state. <clears throat> it would be very difficult for us to <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, <clears throat> build things like this. But like I said, our fall was very drastic. But like I said, our rise is going to be very drastic as well. Russian icons, we're going to jump in here really quick. It goes on with this because they took away our information and we know that they whitewashed everything as well as they still have. And they just try to ignore, you know, this awakening that's happening all around them. This right here is from the mid 1400s. And again, it's with the transfiguration right here in the mid or 1400s. That's what they say. Who knows how old these things really are? But these are the things they've been hiding for such a long time. So once they got their chance to follow us around as the terrors that they are, they saw all these uh, all these pictures <clears throat> and they just wanted to uh, be us so bad. So the Most High made them keep these pictures over here in Russia so that when we woke up, we would be able to refer back to these pictures once again. And they gave us this. Exactly. I ain't, I ain't never seen, uh, had a thought about a white man coming back to save us. They showed us exactly how they feel about us right now. Because I'm living my best life. That's what they've been doing. And that's what they yearn so much to go back to. Cesare says, like, I ain't coming back to save you niggas. Well, we know that, but hey, there's so many of our people that are still stuck in this mindset. Thinking that, you know, Jesus, white Jesus here is coming back to save us. He's coming back to fix everything. He's been running everything the way that he's supposed to run it. The Gentiles and Esau on top and our people licking their boots at the bottom and then praying to their God to save us. Just remember who they covered up. Remember the covenant that we have with our power. And now the Most High is fulfilling that covenant by getting ready to sweep these people off of all of our lands. Do you think it's a coincidence that um, the plague is jumping off the charts over there in Europe. UK just shut down last week. Other places are shutting down. It seems to be starting there first and then making its way over here. You think any of this is a coincidence? It's time, family. The Most High is working to fulfill his side of the covenant. He's awakened our people. He's made it so that we work together. And trust me, there's a whole lot more information coming. There's a whole lot of information coming. That here a little, there a little, the way you're supposed to read the scriptures, it actually works with these other books as well. So they all tend to work together. Just like right now, we just put together Deuteronomy, the Book of Mormon, right here and the annals, okay, right now, by the four masters. So we're bringing all this information together. And that's what, it takes time, and it takes access to these books. But the Most High is doing his part, and we need to keep doing our part, praying, thanking the Most High, following what he wants us to do as best we can, 
and just watching him work. All praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is Holy Spirit. Acknowledge Yahweh Shai. Shalom.